Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban Jeffrey sunglasses. So the model number here is RB2190. And let's go ahead and pop these sunglasses on face and talk about the dimensions. These sunglasses have 55 millimeter lenses and a 20 millimeter bridge. And these sunglasses have a very cool square style to them. These look very similar to those Prada SPR19s, I believe, that I reviewed about four years ago. And I really like those sunglasses a lot. These Ray-Ban are very similar to them and that's not too surprising because both Ray-Ban and Prada eyewear are owned by the same company Luxottica. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at these beautiful striped Havana frames which look really nice out in the sunlight. We can also see they have some metal accents here in the top corners of the sunglasses that go straight up and down which look very interesting and add a very cool look to these frames. Now taking a closer look at the lenses we can see this really nice gradient material. These are category 2 lenses and not category three. So they're not going to be amazing on very bright and harsh sunny days, but they're gonna be good for overcast days and sunny days, just not very harsh sunny days. So for example, you're definitely not going to want to bring these to the beach on a bright and sunny day. You're just going to be squinting all the time, which isn't going to be very comfortable, obviously. Now, of course you can get these sunglasses with category three lenses, but this particular colorway only comes with category two lenses. Now, as far as lens material goes, these do have Ray-Bans all glass lenses, and the absolute clarity of these is definitely very nice. They also do have a very nice anti-reflective material here on the back side of the lens, which is going to help reduce eye strain. Of course, these lenses also are going to block 100% UVA and UVB rays, which is also important for your eye health. Now, of course, like every pair of authentic Ray-Ban sunglasses, these have a painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the lens. And this particular pair has a gold logo because it's part of Ray-Ban's heritage collection or something like that. And then if we take a look here in the middle of the lens, we see an etched RB logo, again, for authentication purposes. Now, moving down the temples of the sunglasses, we can see a raised Ray-Ban logo, just like we'd find in a pair of original Ray-Ban Wayfair sunglasses. And then moving down the temple, we can see a metal stem that runs all the way down to the rest, which is there for rigidity purposes. These frames are made completely out of acetate, and the acetate on these frames is absolutely gorgeous. There's a lot of grain here on these Havana frames. They just look really, really good out in the sun and every single pair of Ray-Ban's Acetate Havana frames are going to be unique to themselves. So every pair is gonna be different, which again is really cool. Now these frames have all metal hinges, which feel very nice when opening up and when closing them. And these are Ray-Ban's best hinge, which is a seven barrel hinge. And the hinge is actually gold here to match the gold accents on the uh, logo and on the outside of temples, which again is really cool that Ray-Ban made it all gold. I think that really looks nice on these frames. Now these sunglasses are made in Italy. They sit here in the inner right temple sunglasses. They just say Ray-Ban made in Italy. And if we take a look here at the inner left temple sunglasses, we can see they say RB2190, which of course stands for the model number. And then they say Jeffrey after that. And then of course they give the lens size and the bridge width of these frames. Now, as far as weight goes, these frames are actually really not too heavy. They're just about as heavy as a pair of original Ray-Ban Wayfair sunglasses. So you can wear these sunglasses for a long period of time without any discomfort, but if you're gonna wear them all day long, they're gonna get a little bit heavy here on the nose and then here behind the ears. Now, as far as styling goes, I really do like these square lenses here on my face. I think it adds a really cool and fun, unique design to these sunglasses. The build quality on these frames is definitely top-notch. Again, these acetate frames are absolutely gorgeous and they have these very nice all-metal hinges and they also have those all-glass lenses. So overall, it's a very solid pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. And because of that, the price is going to be a little bit higher than your average pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses. These are going to cost you around $172, but I've actually seen these sunglasses for cheaper on Amazon. So for current pricing and availability, I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you guys check out these sunglasses directly on Amazon where hopefully you guys are going to find the best price. Now, as far as coverage from sun goes, the sunglasses aren't going to offer great coverage from sun because they do have these square styling lenses. So here up top, we can see there is definitely a very big gap to sunlight in unprotected. And then here on the sides, again, there's a really big gap to sunlight in unprotected. And the fact that this particular colorway also has uh, Ray-Ban's category two lenses instead of their category three lenses means that on bright sunny days, you're going to be squinting all the time. So really this pair of sunglasses is meant for overcast 
stays and really nothing more than that, which is unfortunate because I absolutely love the colorway of these frames. And I really also do like the look of these gradient lenses. I think it makes these sunglasses look really good, but they're definitely not going to be very good. Like I said, for those harsh summer days where the sun is shining very strong, they're going to be good for those overcast days. So definitely keep that in mind when picking up this colorway. Of course, they also do produce these sunglasses with category three lenses. And those sunglasses are going to be much better for those bright, harsh, sunny days. But of course, again, the coverage here isn't great. So definitely keep that in mind when picking up this pair. Up. But overall, I think this is a very solid pair of sunglasses. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you give me a big thumbs down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.